Hello everyone, uh, this is Jim Pencao from ETH Rick. Today our presentation topic is ontology-based product configuration for modular buildings. A modular construction is experiencing a new wave of attention and investment. It could boost the productivity, help solving housing crisis, crisis and significantly reshape the way we design and build from the design aspect, um, product platform or configurator is a technique to achieve mass customization, first originated in the manufacturing industry. In recent years, we also witnessed a number of companies in civil engineering developing their own platform. As the first step, they start to build their product core or kit or parts. These prefabricated modules cover a range of different systems from single elements with standard connections to 3D volumetric modules with fixtures installed. The potential benefits are not merely coming from build such library and reusing it among future projects, rather it enables clients or developers to work with supply chain to determine the trade-off among cost, time, and quality. By selecting a portfolio of kit parts, the design can have different variations in a minute. However, it really follows a set of fixed predefinitions. To make the design more flexible, so as to satisfy different kinds of requirements, it's important to set up the knowledge-based configuration systems. The configuration knowledge is to define how a product is designed and how it can be varied. It includes two aspects. First, model knowledge, defined, uh, model knowledge defines product structure and composition. Second, Requirement knowledge defines design constraint and the customer requirements. Ontology modeling for configuration knowledge has been studied in other manufacturing products, such as personal computers, machines, and automotive. Previous study did research on product structure of modular buildings. They highlight the hierarchical relationship between parts, assemblies, and modules. However, the representation lacks a constraint modeling, like some functional requirements and the structural requirements to fully define our customer preferred and the structural valid products. To combine the model knowledge and the requirement knowledge in a unified presentation, ontology is a good candidate. As BIM has been widely applied in building description, ontology has been applied to your project life cycle. Ontology is a semi-structured conceptual domain used for knowledge acquisition and communication. Ontology is also proved to be effective to handle unstructured data, such as applying tests. As for configuration knowledge, ontology enables easy modeling of product hierarchy, product family, and constraint. In this research, we apply a simple way to construct an ontology within a BIM environment. First, this research focuses on the floor planning of a modular building design. Second, we reuse the taxonomy by extracting data from BIM to a directory. Third, we map BIM class to ontology class as well as the attributes and the relationships. Requirements modeling is also done at this step. Finally, we use ontology for product reasoning and validation in an editor called Prodigy. Uh, in details, the connection between BIM to ontology is achieved by uh, BIM API and uh, a Python package called the RED. Here you can see the key parts uh, studied in this research include different functional room modules, hallways, staircase modules, balconies, and roof modules. And the ontology is built within uh, Prodigy, we just uh, clip a part of the hierarchical structure of the project here. And semantic web rule language is used to define configuration requirement knowledge to validate a floor planning. For example, how apartment is configured and how it can be varied and how many structural modules are needed to resist the horizontal node. However, there are some limitations. This ontology is only targeted at the floor planning phase. Uh, a broader scope of project variations, uh, including the MEP systems, can be included in the future work. Uh, additionally, the constraints are manually added to the ontology from a design handbook, which takes time and error prone. It is possible to automatically import that knowledge via natural language processing. In conclusion, compared with the traditional design process, platform-based design approach can fully make use of a parts, 
to achieve product variations and shorten development cycle. It enables clients to take part in the product pro, uh, prototype development. Um, and BIM ontology has been used in two aspects before. Data exchange between project phases, uh, which we call it interoperability problem, and, uh, sp uh, and also be used uh, for specific domain application, such as quantity takeoff and error detection. So the main takeaway of this studies are a simple BIM to ontology approach and a proof that ontology can be used to describe product hierarchical structure and design constraint. Above all, it needs a foundation for the technical platform development. It also extends the BIM ontology in a new area, uh, the configuration task domain. Thank you for your patience, and uh, we're looking forward to your questions. Thank you.